this is ideally begun by putting a cystoscope through the bladder one can identify the urethra and through that we infiltrate the bladder for approximately 200 cc of normal saline prior to performing the procedure two or three things are mandatory the patient should be non-responsive to any form of medical management the patient should be having and experiencing very severe form of urge incontinence the patient should have a normal urine culture as you can notice on cystoscopy we are able to see severe hyperemia on the wall of the bladder this is a very common picture especially in cases with severe overactive bladder in cases of interstitial cystitis that there is a capillary hyperemia our primary slot of injection of the botulinum is going to be in the intertrigonal area it is done with the operative sheath and a needle is passed through the operative sheath normally the botox comes as a pre-filled vial of 100 units now normally what we do is that we reconstitute this vial with approximately 10 ml of distilled water once it is reconstituted it is filled it is shaken and then the injection is done at approximately 12 to 15 sites through the submucosal plane of the bladder the mechanism of action of botox is going to last for approximately 6 to 11 months depending upon the patient after the first shot of injection all subsequent injections are usually injected with 200 units of botox this is a typical cystoscopic needle which is used which goes through the mucosa in the intertrigonal region you can see that it is aspirated to rule out any blood and botox is infiltrated when we infiltrate it you are able to see that the mucosa gets blanched and gets lifted up this is the typical technique of injection you can see that when we are injecting it the needle tip is so fine and the hand movements are so gentle that there is hardly any capillary damage which occurs at that point following the procedure you can see the beautiful blanching of the mucosa of the bladder that is visible following the injection the patient can usually go back home within three to four hours the effect typically starts beginning to appear after seven to ten days following the injection